back here on Open. It will be all fun and games, and yes, some simple lessons on eating healthy at Kids Day at the Heights Community Farmers Market on Thursday, August 21st, tomorrow. Here to tell us more on what we can expect is the coordinator of health initiatives at Bronx Works, Kimberly Wong, and Nicole Carruth, founder and director of With Food in Mind. Welcome you both to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Good. So, exciting day tomorrow. Yes. Who wants to give us the background of what tomorrow is all about? Sure. Uh, <laughs> so tomorrow at the Heights Community Farmers Market, we're having our Kids Day. It's the first time we're doing this. Uh, we have a whole day planned of fun, kid-friendly activities, including uh, cooking demonstrations for kids, uh, nutrition education class, um, a really cool fruity pop workshop, which Nicole can talk about. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you can talk now? Sure. <laughs> so With Food in Mind uses visual art to educate children about food and nutrition. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow we're doing our program, the Fruity Pop Workshop, where we teach kids how to make their own soda with fruit from the farmer's market. And then we take the fruit scraps and some other produce and we do an art making activity. So they're making fruit stamp bookmarks tomorrow. Ah, so in our borough, we know that obesity is a big thing and you know, gaining weight and our kids really dealing with the whole weight challenge and really healthy eating. You guys are doing something to really put that in perspective. Yeah, well, we really want to start good eating habits from the start. So we are trying to get the entire family to come out so a family mm -hmm. can learn together. Um, just the benefits of going to a farmer's market. And our farmer's market is a very community-based market. So it's, it's more about um, an entire wellness and holistic sort of health. Um, so along with that, you're eating better, you're getting to do some cool activities, and um, then being healthier just comes with that along. So you don't always have to talk about childhood obesity, which is kind of overplayed in the, in the media. Yeah, we, 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 <laughs> we, we do play it up. We must yeah. admit, we do play it up. <laughs> Nicole, give us a little bit about With Food in Mind. Uh, so with Food of Mine was founded two years ago and I founded the organization in response to two things that were happening that I saw happening at the same time which was a decline in public school art education particularly in low-income communities and black and Latino communities but also these are the communities that have the highest rates of child obesity mm -hmm. so I have I believe that we can solve both problems at once that visual art can be a tool in the fight against childhood obesity that we can give children art education, but also give them a creative way to explore nutrition. Mm -hmm. And how receptive are kids to that? They're really receptive. Mm -hmm. They love it, especially the, the art making and, um, and even just the process of, for example, making their own soda. And they think this is something that's made in a factory that they couldn't possibly do on their own. Mm -hmm. um, so this Fruity Pop workshop is going to really open their eyes to... It does. Mm -hmm. And for parents, too. Parents get just as excited about the program as the kids do. Mm -hmm. So community participation is obviously what you're gain, uh, hoping to, to do. You have this community market out there and, and uh, food garden, I should say. So give us a little bit about the community and how you ask the community to come on out and be a part. Sure. Uh, it's located in Morris Heights. So we have a couple of community partners, including the Francis, Lar uh, sorry, the Francis Martin Library and the... Um, Dr. Drum, he's the, of Bombayo, so he comes in, he does a community class every week, actually. He's out there with his drums and his dancers. Um, and we also have uh, our community volunteers, so we are run by senior citizens that come and they do a lot of the work at the farmer's market and also conduct cooking demonstrations and are teaching our community members how to use the fresh ingredients from the farmers um, and making these really delicious recipes and giving it out to the community members. So tomorrow's the day. What time? It's at, well, the market opens at 9 and we go till 3, so most of the act activities are going to be between 10 and 2, so come between then. Um, we're also going to have the Bronx Children's Museum bus is going to be there too, so, mm -hmm. and uh, people will get a chance to, um, Bronx Works representatives will be there doing uh, food stamp screenings and also uh, Navigator will be there to help people with health insurance, so mm -hmm. we'll have some other services available. And yeah, it's going to be a good time. Good, Nicole. Share with us a little bit more about using visual arts as uh, you know, as a help to really educate people. Uh, well, the history of food and art goes back to the beginning of time. If you think about cave paintings of bison, uh, people were painting their food. So. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I feel like there are so many points of entry to, to talk about food and really interesting points of entry. Um, so kind of drawing on that history, looking at the history of art, but also contemporary artists and using that as a jumping off point because um, whereas people I think approach art and feel like it's not relevant to their lives, everybody eats. So mm -hmm. food is relevant to everyone. Mm -hmm. And so we want to let you know, make sure you come on out tomorrow. It's August 21st, and it's going to be at University Avenue and West 181st Street. And uh, you can take part, Kids Day at the Market. And then you've also got a Fruity Pop workshop, some other great things that are going on. And for people who want more information, what do they do? They can find us on Facebook at the Heights Community Farmers Market, or Heights, yes, that's it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can try to reach me at 718-933-5300 or kwong at bronxworks.org. Mm -hmm. Nicole at withfoodinmind.org. Okay, great. Now for the people who want to go to the farmer's market, when is the farmer's market open? The farmer's market's from open from 9 to 3 every Thursday, not just this Thursday. Um, and it's at 181st and University Avenue. All right. So we'll be there till November. All right. Well, Kimberly, Nicole, thank you so much for coming and sharing with okay. us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. All righty. Well, guess what? Got to take a quick break.